Greetings once again. I want to welcome you to this course. In Unit 4, we highlighted OER recommendations and action plans. In this unit, which is Unit 5, actually the last unit for this week, we are going to be identifying the benefits of open educational resources. You may recall that the champions of OER believe that sharing knowledge is essential to universal access to education and that free access to education is a human right. Thus, opening up knowledge, in this case, educational resources for common good, aligns with the prayer of the SDG 4, which is access and equity in education. This is a great privilege, I must say. Just a recap on the definition of OER. It is defined as teaching, learning and research materials in any medium, digital or otherwise, that reside in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permits no cost access, use, adaptation and redistribution by others with no or limited restrictions. OERs are therefore licensed in a manner that provides everyone with the freedom to engage in the five R's activities, which are reuse, revise, remix, redistribute, and retain. Reusing a content gives the user the right to utilize it in a wide range, for example, in a classroom setting, study group, etc. You may agree with me that this is very cost effective and time saving. Open educational resources, therefore, reduces the gap between the different structure of society and between countries, improve the quality of education, promotes equity, and triggers more personalized learning experience. Revising a content gives the user the right to adapt, adjust, modify, or alter the content. This can be translated in other languages. This function improves the quality of the resource and affords different variants of individual to benefit from the material. This accelerates the knowledge flow and increases the number of people involved in the educational process. In remixing a content, the user is encouraged to combine the original or revised content with another material to create something new thereby stimulating continuous improvement of the content. We need to note that one of the main values of OER is that it can be used worldwide, independent of the system of education and national curricular frameworks. Redistribution provides an enabling environment for sharing of copies of the original content as well as that of your revisions or remixes with others. With this practice, students and researchers are provided the opportunity to build on both versions and domesticate the content where necessary. The last of the hours, which is retain, expect the user to make copies of the content. This can be utilized in classrooms and study groups as OERs and it is cost effective. In a paper commissioned by the Commonwealth of Learning, Hopkins Williams, presented the following benefits of OER. For the government, it was noted that OERs advance knowledge by unlocking information for the benefit of all. It widens participation in higher education by expanding access to non-traditional learners. It promotes lifelong learning. It bridges the gap between formal, informal and non-formal learning and it leverages on taxpayers' money by sharing and reusing of educational resources between institutions. Looking at the institutional perspective, sharing knowledge is congruent to academic tradition. The public image of the institutions may be enhanced and new students attracted. It provides resources for students and faculty to support learning and collaboration the benefits of OER from the educational perspective. It triggers personal gains through increased reputation. It fosters connections with colleagues around the world. OER preserves a record of teaching innovations, allowing others to build upon. 
It gives academics the opportunity to leave behind a legacy after leaving academia. For students, an independent learner who has access to the internet can access materials from best universities in the world. It promotes informal learning where credentials is not needed. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this unit interesting. This is actually the last unit for this week. To test your understanding of the topics presented in this week, you are required to attempt the questions presented in the assessment box. I wish you all the best.